Sync plating parts at home, that's pretty much the most nerdy thing you can do when dealing with classic cars. On the other hand, you know, avoiding them to rust away, that's basically what we're all concerned about the most. And at some point I thought, being able to sync plate that instead of painting it at home, at your workbench, that could really make a difference.
let's wrap up then. Is it dangerous? Is it unhealthy? Is it expensive? None of it. You need a number of chemical substances that are, as long as you avoid that chrome 6 thing that you need to create yellowish golden parts, as long as you spare that, there is no dangerous substances involved. Now the only real investment that you need is a adjustable voltage supply, which costs about 150 euros if you buy a really good one. Now talking about uh, dangerous substances, you saw me using HCl and that of course is a dangerous substance, however, I'm not quite sure that you need it at all. If you would like to avoid HCl, you don't have to use it. I got kind of challenged by so many other YouTubers uh, showing off with it. Now from a technical point of view, I think the parts that I created, they're really cool. When it comes to corrosion protection, I think they will work just fine. From a visual appeal point of view, they could be a bit more glossy, I think. And I think I know the reason why they aren't. Must be something like a polarization effect between anode and cathode. And I have an idea about how to avoid that, so please stay tuned. Next time I will do a video about zinc plating. I'm sure they are going to be nice and shiny. If you liked that video, please, I'd much appreciate if you could hit the subscribe button and send me a like.